members at JICEC uh, this year. We would like to start with a brief about your participation at the event. Thanks for having me here. Uh, my name is Richard Yu. I'm the Senior Director of uh, Product Management in EDGEO. Um, it's good to uh, be in this event. It's my first time in Dubai and uh, we're here to showcase our solutions um, to actually work it to uh, be closer to the markets because we have a big uh, expansion plan uh, you know, ahead you know, over the next few years in uh, this particular region. Okay. Um, maybe we can talk about your products and solutions you're focusing on at the event. Which are the key highlight products that you want to uh, speak about? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, as Edgeo, we're actually one of the largest security platform in the world. We actually own more than 250 terabits per second of platform, which actually make us, as of today, the second largest platform um, in the uh, industry. So what we specialize is on providing full spectrum of web applications and API protection solutions, which actually include web application firewall, DDoS protections, bot management, as well as API protections. Um, so, you know, whatever uh, web-facing use case our customer has, we have uh, solutions to protect all of their web-facing uh, properties. Okay. In terms of the security threat landscape, we've seen a lot of changes over the past couple of years. Um, uh, according to you, what sort of new threats have evolved and how can companies keep themselves safe? Well, first of all, I think as much as security threats, um, they're, they're evolving out there, right? One of, one of the critical flaws or gaps that, uh, which is, a, a, in my opinion, a threat to the organization, um, it's actually the lack of resourcing. Okay. The severe lack of security talent, it's number one threat to many organizations, right? Well, outside of that, right, you know, we're, we're obviously seeing the rise in uh, ransomware. You know, that's uh, obviously one of the biggest issues that many organizations are facing. Outside of that, there's also many crime organizations due to the evolving geopolitical event, launching uh, sophisticated, highly sophisticated large DDoS attack uh, towards uh, a lot of uh, sites. Um, their goal is to compromise the availability of the site as well as to make political statements to try to influence uh, local, if not international, geopolitical decisions the policy makers are making. So here are some of the emerging threats. We also have seen the rise in botnet attack, okay. uh, credential stuffing and account takeover. These are always popular against financial institutions. And finally, we're seeing the rise in zero days vulnerability. Especially, we used to see one critical zero day vulnerability once a year. Now we're observing uh, more than uh, once a quarter, right? So it really put in a big focus that organization needs to be well prepared to respond quickly to any emerging vulnerability or threats. Okay. You briefly mentioned about the skills gap. Um, uh, what is uh, what can be done to bridge that gap? Well, that obviously we need to work on the education systems, right, to make sure that we train the next generation cybersecurity expert. Um, you know, as you know, Sen Institute, who is actually part of the GI Sec here, uh, mentioned, there is currently about three and a half million shortage in security professional. Well, that's not something that we can solve very quickly. So, how do we close the skill shortage? Right, uh, that's the most important question many CISO ask. Right, because obviously you are you are facing with an increasing, exponentially increasing problems. Right, so you need to be able to scale. And there's two methods you can implement to scale. That. Well, first of all, you need to implement automations, okay. right? You want to make sure that you have the ability to automate any detection as well as the resolutions of security vulnerabilities uh, within the organization. The, the second method is uh, using um, the use of AI machine learning, okay. right, to help you automate and uh, really implement a lot of uh, machine learning powered threat hunting as well as even proactive resolutions um, for uh, any emerging security vulnerability because you know what, um, the hackers, the attackers, they're using the same technology. So okay. it's, mo it's very important for security leaders, chief security officer, chief information security officer okay. to actually get themselves up 